I don't even know if this is the right thing. <sighs> Sorry. <clears throat> Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? No. I've waited for you. I've waited, okay. yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying, but... If you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. Can we? Cross something you want? This is the card you found. Oh, it is. It's not my card. The fool. It's a different one. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Rick Innocence Holtz. and freedom. All recklessness and risk-taking, spontaneity, actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think, and don't get burnt. I'm to answer your question. <laughs> I can show you more if you'd like me to. Can you? Uh, let me think about that for a second. Do you, I want you to show me more, more of what? Yeah. This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here, look here. There are secrets out there, you know. No. Secrets and lies. Yeah. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. I guess.
Raiders. Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of, uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the, uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. Have you heard me? Okay, spell it. Nothing to spell, you know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. So am I. I wonder what's killing the deer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. Me either. Hey, this is Emma's. You spider fuck! <laughs> that would have fucking been me. It came out of the chip bag. <laughs> Eat it. Eat it! Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Death metal. Good to know. Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. Asshole. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. Shit's bolted it? Really? Yeah, they're off. Let's try it again. <laughs> if that first we don't fuck it. Skill. <sighs> Ugh, horror. I hate horror. Jump city. This place needs a serious overhaul. Yes, it does. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea and... Two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you can help me with the bags or what? 
No, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Okay, I'm gonna need you to back all the way out of my business, Caitlin. Excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, uh -huh, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. What? No. Uh, mm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then, she took out the trash. Then, she washed her hands. Bye-bye, Jake. Now, she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. Yeah, no thanks. Man, you're starting to bum me out, Jake. Well, I... Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're one sorry motherfucker, ain't ya? Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, hey, what's that guy. supposed to mean? Oh, uh, Ryan. <laughs> what about him? He's... a guy. At this camp. Who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. <sighs> So she really just dumped you just like that? Uh-huh. Technically, no. But, you know, she realized that she has her plans, and um, I have my plans, and it wasn't going to work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try, like, long distance or whatever? <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. Oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Love, marriage, uh, love stability, engagement, oh, marriage, right. house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of the bad part? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Well, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, if it doesn't kill you, it'll make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you. Yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up! <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? 
Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. <clears throat> Trust me, chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Mm. Guess we'll just have to find out. This looks important. Snap. Oops. I will hook you right back up tomorrow, okay? Pinky promise. <laughs> and then all the fuel's gonna be up fucking Up here, gone. my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Uh, Jacob. Totally. What? No, dude, please, d don't, don't. Long. Oh, dick! Boom. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh, yeah, I like oh. freaks. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. Mm. I'm surrounded by freaks. Mm. Oh, thank God. I'm going to get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, nope. you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> in an emergency. Ha oh, burn. Burn. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Who says it's little? Where is everybody Mine else? Mine happens to be humongous. Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. So in one of these outcomes, the car gets set on fire. The engine block. I'm like, what? <laughs> hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Save our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Uh, give me a second. Boom. <clears throat> Let's see what 
We will see. Hi, boy boy. Silly kitty. Okay, let's see what we can find. If we're going to set a trap inside a nest. back. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to figure something out. Let's do Let's it. Crime. We better not get in trouble. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear? On three. One. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Aw. This was little Izzy's. No, it was mine. Creepy doll. get you back to Izzy. <clears throat> Hi, boy. Can't believe I'm actually going to miss all those lumpy loose springs. I mean, sometimes it's good to sleep in a different bed other than you. Why would this place be in the news?
You stop that. She's just a bird. God. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. That was literally the only point in that. I just really want to explore everything. But alas, I do it. But I know these games are going to hide. I'm not ready to leave. Oh, the other side is right as hell. Ouch. 
Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. There's an empty vial. Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. <laughs> It's not going to be happy that the kids just this <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. If you say so. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlyn out of first place all summer. If I just want to walk instead of ride with her. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Mm -hmm. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. I was about to say the same thing. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Jinkies. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Stalker. Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Speak. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Hmm. Yes, 
Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Why, yes it is. Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. <laughs> Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude. Okay, this Where's place a is tiny like baby. balls. <laughs> Your balls are patch? Hey, the baby, Momo. It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. Uh, you. <sighs> and then... Remember at the hotel when she was mad because she wanted the meat? <laughs> I've got the video of that. Hey, Nick. Hey, hey Nick. where were you guys? <gasps> where you were like? you guys? Ignore her, please. Having sex. <laughs> Let's go. Ignore that I said that. Just got to get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both yeah, take no. care of our own bag. Thank you. Cool. Uh, uh, Abby. Do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Me. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? <laughs> okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag, Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? Exactly. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's no. just this campfire story <clears throat> for the kids. It's, um, 
there's supposedly an old woman <laughs> who, who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the Andy woods, looking for her lost Andy baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook kind of stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. <laughs> or kill you. Or He's something. Gone. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. Boy boy! You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Oh, cool story, bro. Oh, no. Yep. Cool story. Oh, yeah? You got a cooler one? Oh, no. I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, no, no. Seriously, dude. I think it just it came out wrong. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude. Bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, never. Okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. Flipping bro. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like, five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Meet you the van, okay? Okay. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh-oh. Uh I'm not fired, am I? Yes. <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. <laughs> Didn't mean to push you out like that. But you did. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly yeah. around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. This is just important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful summer camp. 
Still trying to make up for the losses from last year. Uh. Terrified kids are bad for business. Phone calls I get from scandalized parents, nightmares, thumb sucking, bedwetting. Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the, uh, the. The, the Hagger Hackett School. Just think next time, champ. Use the old skull muscle. I don't have one. I can't. <clears throat> It was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers no. gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids They're happy. Weird as hell, man. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, Never. of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Mm. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. Mm. And safety is the first step towards fun. <sighs> just give me a minute. Good goddamn, are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Coffee? Right where I left. Uh huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before? You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. You noob? God. Freaking noobs over here. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, <laughs> let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on, all right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. I'm, God. Everybody back! <laughs> now, now, now! They caught fire! Jacob, wait! Jesus wait, Christ. wait, wait! I got this! <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. It caught fire. Ah! Okay. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? 
Yeah, you're right. Oh, <laughs> beep that. I sure did, Jacob. That was intentional. Hey, Brian. Chris doesn't have time for anything. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. As you know. <laughs> What was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. Until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. No, 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 We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he Your want to scare ghost us? Story. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't it. even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told me. To do. Be right back. I have got the worst freaking headache ever. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, 
Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm gonna end this here.